Welcome back to here at Goldberg. Today we'll be talking about... Wait, what? Gentlemen, Cassidy will be your cock squad on leader. Oh, thank you. Appreciate it. Anyways, you probably heard on the interwebs recently that conservatives are gnashing their teeth and claiming Taylor Swift is a psyop for the Chia Seeds of the Liberals. Take your pick. Now, it's just traditional right-wing fashion to pretend or make believe that you have this healthy moral center of society, this silent majority which is rejecting the enticements of the plural left, and that includes a lot of young women who are either not on the internet or are, but only listening to Ben Shapiro. They like reading books and keeping things spick and span, but they're at risk of being corrupted by little icons such as Taylor. I personally consider this to be a preposterous notion. Taylor Swift has been popular for 16 years now, and this is during a period when Leona Lewis bled out. Katy Perry kissed a girl and got mono. The Paramore chick is now trans. What makes Taylor have staying power? Well, it is not so much that she is a representation of what American women want to be, but rather she is a reflection of who they are and how they live their lives. Recall how she first got started. Romeo, save me. Daddy's trying to marry me. Drew looks at me. I'm awkward, so I can't meet his gaze. Why are you banging the cheerleader instead of me? I'm stuck on the bleachers of my glasses, being a fem cell. And then over time, she's going out late, partying. People criticize her for hooking up. She's shaking it off. Then Chad walks into the room. It's not going to last, but I can't help myself. And this is exactly how American women are and have been for a while. They do the lovey-dovey thing in high school. Then they start playing the field. And they never truly want to grow up. It's Peter Pan for women. They don't have to become a mom or a granny. They just can refresh the screen countless times. Over the girls that I went out with the last seven, eight months, different races, religions, backgrounds, and they were all fans of Taylor Swift. It's like the Borg Collective is in an overdrive. I talked with this one Christian Pooja. This was November, December. Now, she didn't look stereotypical in the sense that she was lighter skin, had kind of gray-blue eyes. She was a pretty devout Seventh-day Adventist and doing a PhD program, but she, oh yeah, totally a Swifty. You would imagine a woman like that would see Taylor Swift as silly, but remember who she is and how she reflects the way that women live their lives. If you've ever had a girl say, you are my first love or you were my first love, and you might be scratching your head saying, wait, there's going to be more? Because in your mind, she's the one. In her mind, born again, the one, the one, the one, if you get my meaning. And today, in her 30s, without any kids to speak of, Taylor has hit the reset button and she's getting what she didn't have in high school, which is being that popular girl who's dating the Chad athlete. She is what QB would call a bottom shelf Becky, but she's the Becky that lived. She gets to be with Travis Kelsey, who he's not a quarterback. I guess they call it a tight end. But you know it's not tight anymore because Jackson Mahomes has been there. What can you do? This is why so many females are obsessed because they're planning their 30s is not going to be soccer mom. It's still dating Chad, still living the great life, going out, always being able to say, I'm never going to become a wrinkly prune. I'm always going to have fun. And it is an aphrodisiac like nothing else for American women. I even asked this chick that I talked to sometimes, I was all right, between Travis Kelsey and Patrick Mahomes, she said, oh, definitely Travis Kelsey. He's much more attractive. Now, I'm sure there's a halo effect because he's with Taylor Swift and women want to see themselves as Taylor or they are Taylor in their own lives. But there is that element of the black pill where Patrick Mahomes, he's a little shorter. He's got kind of a goofy clown face at times who knows what's going to happen next. Maybe when Taylor Swift becomes 40, she'll date a younger Chad, or she might even go for Andy Reid, the guy in the middle there. We cannot be certain. But whatever she does, it will be very clearly understood to be appropriate. Whether she wants to date the Chad, she takes a break, gets the normie for the romantic nonsense. She's living her best life. She will continue to do so. I wish I could buy stock in Taylor Swift because I think in the next 10, 15 years, she's still going to be quite popular. I mean, she doesn't have to do a lot of work. Even when she tried to go woke for a bit and she dressed up like a man, 
didn't destroy her career. She's been very resilient, and I believe that's because, once more, not she's what women want to be, she is what they are.